Hi everyone, it's Lee here. Thanks for coming back to my channel and a really big warm welcome to anyone who's here for the first time. So a few of you would know who this little guy is already. That's Effie. It's a little character created by Louisa Heinzel who's one of the hosts of Defemaremba. So her and Barbara from 49 Dragonflies are once again hosting Defemaremba. So this was actually a mailing label that Louisa had made out made up and it's available as a freebie on her channel on her Defemaremba videos and it was a A4 size and I just printed two on a page used one to send my parcel of goodies over to my scrap swap partner who is Di from my Enchanted Journals and this one I'm going to use to decorate the cover of my Defemaremba journal I've got a link to Di's channel in my video description box so if you can go over and have a look at her channel subscribe for Di and watch her videos during the month of December too because she is such a clever lady she makes some fantastic things what I have here is what's going to end up as my journal so this is going to be my cover these are going to be my pages there'll be 16 videos and I've got four manila folders which I'm going to cut down so they fit in that folder four sides to each one so four fours are 16 and I'll install one of these things somewhere in that to hold them in I'm going to cover my folder and I'll start with the outside and as I said I'm going to cover it in scraps so the outside gets covered in the scraps, the inside gets covered in book pages. I then stitch around the whole cover on my sewing machine and I also uh, ink it with vintage photo distress ink. I've just got one of those folders here. So they're going to be cut down cut it in half and then take a bit off and put the holder in the middle. I'm just going to work out where that's going to go. So I'm just going to eyeball that. It looks about the middle to me. So I'm going to mark that and then punch holes in it. So I can use my crocodile big bite to make the holes and then put a um, one of these big bright, uh, eyelets in. I think they'll go through. Yep, they fit all right. All right, so they're going to hold. That's going to hold the pages in. Yeah, I just need to work out how big to make the pages. Okay, so I've got them all cut up. So they're approximately seven and a half inches wide by nine and seven eighths long. And you might be thinking they're too short for this folder, but I quite often like to have bits sticking up off the top of my pages and off the bottom. So that's going to give me that room there to do that because it's only a really thin card I'm going to cover these so I have a heap of jelly prints left over from various projects so I'm going to cover them in the jelly prints and then I'm going to stitch around the edge of them and then I'll put the holes into them and attach them to the book so I put the eyelet holes in all my pages and then I put this on the book and put them on the into the onto this and it's not going to work because you can't turn the pages. They won't turn. So I'm going to have to think of a different way of putting them in there. I've already got the holes. I'll have to I'll have to think about it. Which is a bummer because it was going so well. So I've decided to use a piece of seam binding and just to see whether this will work. And 
I might have to put another two holes in it and otherwise it's going to be unstable. But is this going to work? Not really. Sort of. It's pretty primitive, isn't it? I think I've worked it out. Okay, so if I put another hole in here, parallel with these ones, and then use these, so it will go in one hole and come up, and then my pages will attach to that. So I've just put a ring on these to keep them together, but I tried it just with a little template here, and it seems to work. I use this template for spacing. So I know where to put the second hole. Um, if this doesn't work, <laughs> I'll be making another journal. Or maybe I'll just make this into a box and keep my loose pages in it. Loose pages turns into lose patience. Oh, it works, but um, well, you know, I could have just gone and bought a new folder and decorated the cover. Would have been a lot less work, but anyway. So they do turn, they open flat, and I can take them out. Okay. Can I open and shut them? Well, I've decided that I want to zhuzh this up a bit. Um, I think it looks a little bit blare on the outside. I mean, there's nothing wrong with all this bit here, but this big blank area and these things here I think they want livening up a bit so what I'm going to do is very carefully I'm going to apply wrinkly tissue around these bits and then all over the all over the back as well then I'm going to paint it with acrylic paint so that I end up with a nice fake leather look on the outside you would have seen me do a similar method to this when I made um, my fake leather so it doesn't matter that I've dribbled glue there because I will eventually go over the whole thing with glue in much the same way that you would do with Mod Podge to sort of waterproof it When I get this bit finished, I decide that I want to um, redo the whole front cover as well. So I then put the tissue over the images of Effie and the photos of the children. And I start applying paint. So I firstly put down some burnt umber and raw umber and some rose gold mixes of paint just uh, randomly all over the entire cover outside. Then I got shoe polish and the first colour that I used was a medium tan colour and I thought it's not dark enough so I then switched to dark tan which I liked much better. I thoroughly covered it in that dark tan uh, shoe polish then got a nice soft cloth and gave it a good shine up touched up any pieces where I could see I'd rubbed off you know like made the the tissue lift up because it did happen in a few places and I just had to keep checking to make sure I wasn't lifting any of the tissue up and patching it where necessary so what I've got there now is um, liquid shoe polish I was having trouble getting the shoe polish down into you know like the second layer, like the layer below, sort of thing that was exposed. So I used the liquid shoe polish to get it in there. 
and now I've got a black one and I'm just going around and edging, putting black edge on it a bit like when you ink with the distress ink so it worked the same way I'm giving it another good shine up another couple of touches up here and there and I really really love the way this turned out and I'm so glad that I did it that way I have now a little wooden frame that I'm going to put Effie into for the front cover and this is the liquid shoe polish I do both sides of it let it dry and then I apply a little bit of um, I start off with gilding gilding paste I think it is and I decided I didn't like the color that much so I added some of the rose gold paint as well Here's my journal for the 2023 Defemberember challenge. So it's a fake leather journal with a couple of rings to hold the pages in. Started making it a certain way and then it evolved into something else. Um, this is the end product. I've got some, just a little bit of decoration here, some metal corners. I've got Effie and a little frame on the front. I've got Defemember 2023. So it's held closed by these elastic pieces which come from the back. And when you open it up, you have inside here eight removable pages for the 16 videos that we'll be doing during Defemember. Ember. So I hope you love this as much as I do. I'm really happy with how it's turned out. So let me know in the comments what you think. Hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to my channel. Leave me a thumbs up and a comment. And I'll see you in the next video. I'll show you what Di has sent me. I'll also show you what I'm going to keep my scraps in. So in the meantime, happy crafting. I'll see you in another video. Hugs and cheers from Australia. Hooroo!